Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the images of children. In my point of view, children are the new human citizens who have just joined the big family of the world. They are as same as the saplings that demanding nurture, patience, time, and space to grow into trees. I believe this period of time is called childhood. A sapling might look tiny and vulnerable, but it doesn't know. No, no one knows how big, how strong, and how tough tree it could become. Childhood is the time for children to learn self-care skills in order to survive and live on Earth, as well as forming healthy program in their brain and developing abilities that supports the manifestation of their potential. Children are pure and closely connected with their essence and nature. There are infinite possibilities and potential within them, waiting to be exploited. So my image of the child is powerful, potential, and knowledgeable. Children may be more physically disadvantaged than adults, but they perceive and do things in new and interesting angles and ways that adults may have never thought about. They are also imaginative and creative that have massive ideas that are not inferior to adults. When I was eight months old, my cousin was going to throw a toy car towards me. I thought the toy car will hit me. Then my head was hit. Then some thoughts appeared in my mind again. What would a baby do in this situation? Okay, I should cry as I'm a baby now. Then I start crying. This memory shows that even though eight-month-old infants cannot verbally express themselves, their mind is not blank. They are intuitive and able to predict and think in their own way, then act based on their will. Malagosy states that children are able to immediately sense and see the spirits of happenings because they are extremely sensitive. I also remember that I truly love running and wandering around in nature to observe and discover interesting things with peers and interact with animals and life surrounding us. So my image of children are also curious and competent explorers, learner, and adventurers who are deeply connected with everything on Earth and capable of managing risk while discovering themselves, their potential, passions, and interests in the world. Overly protecting children from any risk equal to viewing children as weak and incapable. Educators should demonstrate firm trust and hold equal belief in all children's abilities and potential to blossom. Adler asserts that it's essential to provide each child with equal opportunities to explore potential and capacity, and then extend this power in constructive ways. This contributes to children discovering individual uniqueness, keeping one's true color, and self-determining their own value, which is self -re uh, self-reliance, instead of external complements. This brings great positive influences on children, developing a firm self-identification and sense of belonging in the big family of the world. And I believe that childhood is also the time for new and young Earth citizens to develop deep bonding, connection, and relationship with all elements on Earth, and assimilate into the changes and dynamics of nature. Children are viewed by Vygotsky as active participants and partners in learning. They are able to explore new understanding and co-construct knowledge of the world with others. They are also intellectual problem solver and fast learners, as Vygotsky indicates that they could surmount their limits and solve problems that are beyond their current mental age, and apply what they learn in collaboration on the next day independently. Also, Steiner sees children as spiritual beings. They naturally observe, explore, learn, cope, and develop a strong sense of belonging and connectedness with the earth and life when they are being in nature. They create and expand potential and strengths based on their interests, and are competent to manage real-life tasks, 
prepare meals for themselves and contribute to nature. This aligns with the image of children in Australia, as they are already the contributors who are aware of environmental issues and capable of appreciating, nurturing, protecting, and maintaining the natural environment. Since my young age, I have inversely disagreed with the dominant style of raising children, schooling, and educational pedagogy. I felt miserable about the gender inequity between my parents. Regarding my childhood experiences, I see children as independent, critical, and deep thinkers who are insightful and aware of big questions such as justice, equity, and power relationship. I realize and strongly believe that children have firm individual perspectives, which are not influenced and cannot be filtered by cultures, environments, parents, or surrounding people, norms, the society, and the world. Piaget indicates that children's mind is not blank, and they don't learn by simply mirroring and listening. They construct their own perspectives and form their own version of reality through individual experiences and interaction with the environment. They they consider new external information with their internal existing knowledge or concept. And most impressively, deciding for themselves what they learn from these experiences. Educators should engage children in discussions and experiences in relation to big and challenging topics, for example, climate and ecological issues, sustainability, equity, diversity, and inclusivity. Lastly, encourage children to explore, adventure, solve problems, take and manage risk. And overcome challenges in the natural environment. This fosters children to develop critical and higher-order thinking abilities, as well as positive disposition that benefits throughout their life. For example, being resilient and flexible towards and assimilating into the dynamic, unknown, and unpredictability of nature and life. This picture here is in contrast to my image of the child. The woman is holding her head in her palm with messy hair, and her facial expression shows exhaustion, irritation, and annoyance, and seems like looking after children is unpleasant. This demonstrates discourses about children as naughty, monster, and bungle, and childhood seems like a burden to adults. It shows that adults are in a higher position and always right, and lower position for children, as if they are innocent and ignorant. The power relationship between adults and children are distanced by the gap of their age and capacity, and children have poor sense of agency because they are weak and incapable of self-caring. Doctor Stevens indicates that there is no such thing as a bad child, but angry, hurt. Tired, scared, impulsive, confused children express their feelings and needs by using the only way they know. So, instead of criticizing children's mistake or misbehaviors, it's more important for educator to put their feet in children's perspectives. Um, guide and find solution with them together through meaningful conversation, communicating with warm love, gentleness, and patiently listen to children's feelings and opinions with an open mind and heart. This effectively contributes to children's capacity of respecting others mutually and developing healthy relationship with educators and peers. Adler indicates that children focus on experiences, solution, effort, and improvement rather than punishment, rewards, and results. Effectively foster children's long-term self-esteem and empowerment, life skills, and contribute to them becoming lifelong learners. In fact, these two ch children are not making a mess, but exploring and making sense of their world. As Piaget asserts, children develop connection and intelligence while independently interacting with the environment through senses. Also, the drawing which are、uh, which、uh, reach behind the food basket shows this respect and an appreciation to children's work and effort, as well as their potential and interest. 
according to Radio Emily approach, taking children's work carelessly conveys to children that they are in case. Uh, Incompetent, and their ideas and efforts are unvalued. This picture here reflects my image of the child, as children are capable and the contributors of the world. They are being at each other's eye level with smiles, and seems like a teammate, partner, or co-constructor to each other, and trying to plan cooperatively. This demonstrates an equal power relationship and no gap between children and adults because of their physical differences. The woman shows firm trust and belief in the child, as he or she is capable of taking equal actions as adults to contribute to and care about nature and other lives on Earth. The EYLF states that children are active citizens who understand, care about, and are responsive to human activities' impacts on the interdependence of life, nature, and ecology. Educators should not prejudge children's ideas and perspectives based on prior knowledge, because this will overlook the potential and excellent possibilities of children, their learning and development. Educators should move beyond their preconception of what children can do and learn, and work with each child's unique qualities and abilities, as well as being the co-constructors to discover more possibilities, expand and update knowledge with children collectively. Child, this means childhood is not a period to. Prepare children for their adulthood, but it's the time for them being and living at the moment. As stated in the EYLF, childhood is about the present for children to enjoy every moment of being children in here and now within their everyday life. This picture here shows that children are powerful, potential, creative, and imaginative, which reflect my image of the child. It shows that children are independent thinkers who have their unique, fabulous, and massive ideas. They are competent and knowledgeable that they connect with individual feelings and emotions and express them in unique and creative ways. Regarding Malagasy's philosophy, children have unpredictable potential, power, strength, and infinite ways of expressing. The picture also shows that children have a strong sense of agency and are capable of directing and deciding their own path and life by following their interests and strengths. They don't need a dose predetermination for their future life. They can think big and do outstanding and incredible things in their life already in the here and the now. Malagasy states that childhood is like a forest with full of hopes and possibilities because it has no paths, whereas children are inside of the forest. He believes that even though there are moments of getting lost, children are capable beings who make their own path and discover themselves along the journey in the forest. The role of educators. Is assisting children in discovering and expanding individuals' potential, making decisions for their own learning, and directing their development and life. Educators should acknowledge and respect that each child is an individual being who has the right to direct and is the own boss of his or her own life. In others' philosophy. He states that when teacher or adults recognize the boundary to not overly intervene children's journey of life, they in turn encourage children to be independent and learn to take the responsibility for self-caring and the consequence of their behaviors and the choice they make for their own life. Thank you, everyone.、Uh, I hope you enjoy my presentation.